Carter, a long drive by Monmouth to open the game. Play action by Frazier. Open, wide open, the tight end, Tyler George. Touchdown, Hawks. <laughs> and we'll tell you the story on Paul Layton. They're going to run a fake reverse off the punt. And Tillis has got lots of room to run. What a call. Still on his feet. At the 30, he's going in for the touchdown. A fake punt reverse to Chillis. Touchdown, New Albany, covering 77 yards. Are you Fiaki shotgun on first down, has time, looks downfield, it's Kushner, and he's got daylight. Touchdown, U Albany. Ryan Kirshner, 82 yards. Three wide receivers to the right. Now Chillis goes in motion, and out of the wild cat, it's Drew Smith, and he's loose inside the 25, and he's going in for a touchdown. Another big play, and another U Albany great day touchdown. This time it's Drew Smith. A hold coming at the nine by Layton. Nothing more than a little uh, extended extra point. Covers 19 yards. Pop of the helmets. And Drew trying to get to the end zone, and he does. Touchdown, U Albany. Touchdown, Drew Smith. Well, well this is 50. 50-yard boot, plenty of leg. That's right down the My middle. Goodness. And after a U Albany turnover, and it's second and 11. And Fiaki has Chillis open down the middle. And Chillis is going the distance. Touchdown, Kevin Chillis. Um, coming down the home stretch. Drew gets away from a defender and gets into the end zone. And that should put this game away. A period of time where you'd say it was a pretty good game. Yeah. And uh, then I think we just sort of exploded. Uh, I think we had a lot of big plays. I think we had three picks, if I'm not mistaken. Right. So, you know, you only get 12 possessions a game on an average. So if you're going to give us, give them three of them away, well, that's going to give us three more than you're going to have. And uh, I think the offense, as these guys have said, can capitalize on a lot of things. Uh, we're still what I call a no-name line, but I'll tell you what, uh, they're doing a fairly decent job. Uh, we're moving the ball both on the ground and in the air, and it's a multitude of formations that are always moving. Uh, it's, it's a cliche that I use all the time with the misassignments and misalignments will hurt you a lot more than mismatches will. And if you can, by motioning or shifting or various sets, get them to line up just a little bit wrong, that's all it takes. Why, why run a fake punt in that situation? Ah, uh, uh, because I thought we could, one. <laughs> and uh, because I'm 75 years old and I can call anything I want to call. <laughs> and, uh, I owe it all to Coach McCarthy. I mean, he has something, he's going one play, and all of a sudden he switches up. I mean, we came out first play, and we went with slants right to Chillis, and that was it. You know, just completely took the air out of the place for them. And, you know, we just switched up every time. I don't know. I go in a quarterback, Will comes out, Jake comes at quarterback. Chills on a jet sweep, Kirsch on a, a corner, uh, Cole's out on the field. It's, it's remarkable. I think right now, Coach Johnson did a good job recruiting all these guys, but right now we're just clicking. Like we got all the pieces, all the ingredients. We're extremely talented, and right now it's just, I think, on average, 10 people touch the ball a game. It's not even just me and Chills, Kirsch. It's, it's gets the ball, we get to touch everyone, and it's hard to defend somebody like that when. Because usually you have three dynamic players on the team, you just want to make sure you key them, but you can't really focus on it. you got to play everyone equal. And I 